Hi everyone, welcome back to Lena's Pretend Play. In this video, we will be making, well, showing a bottle rocket blaster project chemical reaction engineering. So welcome to the build. This is our box over here, our Kimiko box. And then here is what's in the box. Here's our bottle, our syringe, handle, which is right here. And then frame pieces, base. base, sticky foam, launcher base, mini scoop, I like to call it mini. And then rocket base, rocket body, bins, tubes, baking soda, and citric acid like I showed you. Here they are, like I showed you again. And then here's our rocket. And then we have our tiny little tube. And then our red stopper, our blue stopper, our nuts, my connector. Balls, bolts. bolts, and launch mount. I cannot imagine so many things in that small box. Is our bottle where we fill all the water. And then we pull up this pump. It's the handle. And, the and then there and then we will eh, water. <laughs> we will put the citric acid and the baking soda in here. Put this rocket on top and push that's just the air okay guys don't worry about it and then it'll fly up into the sky but way higher than that you have to do it outside three parts of building part a make the the bottle mm -hmm. <laughs> you made the bottle so you you kind of part. assemble that yeah mm -hmm. and then part b assemble the launch pad and the rocket you made the rocket and launch pad. Part C. Launch! Mm, Over here. Parts. You launched a rocket! Check out. Never mind. So, like I said, put water in here, fill this up, and push down. Mm -hmm. Like that. How my bottle rocket blasted. Mm -hmm. Off! Like three, two, one. I like the animation there. Yes. Okay, step by step, signs behind the rocket blast number one. Mixing the ingredients, chemical reaction. So we have our citric acid and baking soda. Do you know, and then you add water. Do you know what happens if you add citric acid and baking soda and then add water? Like I have what right happened? here. Then something huge will happen. Not huge. You know what plants breathe out? I mean, what they suck in? Suck in. Carbon dio dioxide. That's what comes out from water, baking soda, and citric acid over here. Mm -hmm. And then they which will make carbon dioxide. Isn't that cool? Yeah. And then Very it'll blast off. Chemical gas. I mean, yes. Let's keep the rocket here. So, what is chemical reactions? Hmm. A chemical reaction is when two or more things mix and change into something new. Hmm. The new thing is a gas called carbon dioxide, like I said. And then, just like bubbles in soda. So, let's gonna let's do an experiment. So, chemical reaction. A chemical reaction is when two or more things mix together and make something new. So you mean to say these two chemical uh, reactions like citric acid and baking soda if you mix together you and can water make, yeah, and water yeah what will it then become? it'll make up carbon dioxide uh, so let's do a little experiment here i have this cup mm -hmm. and then i have my baking soda and citric acid this is the experiment time okay guys yeah so i'm gonna get my baking soda careful with baking soda kids sometimes we use baking soda for cooking too. yeah we use baking soda for cooking mm -hmm. so take one little spoon of it or maybe i'll put half since it's a bigger like one and a half that should be good time and kids do not eat any of these things because it is really bad 
for you. I'm gonna put a bit of water. Yeah, that's okay. Just pour everything. And then put water very little. Yes, because I added a bit too much. So here's my water. So you add these two chemicals, citric so, acid and baking soda. Yeah. And you're going to add water now. Let's see yeah. what happens. Yeah, I'm only going to put a bit, okay? Ooh. So Ooh. here is a bit. Got it. Oops. Okay, that's good enough. See, it's a bubble. I see bubbles. Whoa, it looks like soda or Sprite, right? And I hear some noise. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah. Here. You guys can hear it now. Now it's getting lower. Yeah. Okay. So that is what will happen if you add citric acid and baking soda together with water. Real example a NASA rocket. Hmm. Okay. It's called NASA Saturn. This rocket is called the NASA's Saturn B rocket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this rocket uses liquid hydrogen and oxygen to launch astronauts into to the moon or anywhere else. Oh. In space. One question. Where a person live in that rocket? Oh, I'll tell you that in a bit. So mm -hmm. as you can see, this is where the engine starts and then it goes. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then here is our li liquid oxygen and our hydrogen is here, liquid. And then they mix together, I think so. And then they bubble like that. It's mm -hmm. still going. Let's see how long it takes till it um, finishes. And then, so, and then the, the astronauts actually love all in that little tiny space can't you believe mm -hmm. and then the rest of the rocket is not where they're supposed to go so that mm -hmm. little tiny black to white is where they are and you cannot go in the antenna because it's the antenna mm -hmm. it's an antenna you can't go in the antenna so <laughs> you try to say that nasa also used this kind of chemical yeah just not citric acid and baking soda mm -hmm. then you would need a ton of it Mm -hmm. Yeah, but so you just need liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen. Anyway, let's move on to the next slide. Trapping the gas. Building pressure. Step-by-step -step science behind the rocket blast. Number two. The gas gets trapped inside the rocket bottle. It pushes against the walls of the bottle and that builds up pressure just like air building up in a balloon. So I have a balloon right here. I'm gonna blow it up a bit. Mm -hmm. Wait, first I'm gonna move to the next side. Mm -hmm. So blast off. Three, zoom, two, zoom, zoom. one. We go blast to off. <laughs> okay, releasing pressure, step-by-step -step science behind the rock blast three. <laughs> okay, when there's too much pressure, it gets Pushed really hard, zoom, <laughs> like that. Not actually, but where was I? Really hard into the bottom of the rocket. It pushes too much pressure. It pushes really hard onto the bottom of the rocket. It pops off of the launcher right here. And then water shoots down, like Dan. So when we're outside, there's water everywhere. Not every everywhere, but anyway, and then it shoots the water down. So three, two, one, blast up. <laughs> anyway, let's move. Okay, before I move on to the next slide, mm -hmm. what is pressure? What is pressure? Yeah, exactly. When you blow air into a balloon, the air pushes out against the rubber walls. Oh, like the rubber. Oh, so you're giving it pressure, yeah. So if there's too much pressure, it's gonna pop. So I have one balloon right here. And then I'm gonna put some pressure in it, like oxygen or carbon dioxide. Okay, so putting the air pressure yeah. inside. Mm. That's good. Mm -hmm. And then so if I were to keep it like this, there's no air coming out of it, right? But if I let go, oh. 
Oh, yeah. It goes up because all of the air pressure doesn't want to be in there. And then it's like... It uh, wants to yeah, come out. Yeah. Yeah. It's like... I don't if there's too much pressure, then it'll pop again. Yeah. <laughs> They're saying, I don't want to stay here. Yeah. <laughs> Let me go out. If you block it, then still they want to stay, right? But yeah. if you don't if block, then they, they all want to come out. Like that. Now I have a tiny balloon. Yeah, so there is a science behind that. Huh? Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's so squishy. Anyway, so example of balloon pressure. When you blow air into a balloon, the air pushes out against the rubber wall. The more air you blow in it, the more pressure builds up inside. So if there's too much pressure, pops. So now you can watch the rocket blast experiment, which is outside. So see you outside. Hi everybody, welcome to Leonas for 10 Play. In this video, we're doing an experiment outside as you guys can see, and we're gonna do a bottle blast rocket. So here's our rocket, here's our base to like Pull the water, we push down, and then this launch pad will make the rocket go up into the sky. So that would go there. And then here is our citric acid and our baking soda. So we have to put it in here and then put in the water in here and then like do this and then press down and the water will come through and then it'll the rocket will take some time to go up into the sky. In the water now. Almost there. And that's good. So now let's put in this tube and then press down. This is a car. There. Okay, wait, we gotta put this a bit farther and this a bit farther too. So first we gotta pull up. This is really hard to pull up because... So if I push it down, you'll see the water come out. Right? All the way down. Came down. So that's how it'll work, but all the strict acid will be in there. So make sure your tube is empty. And then make sure this has enough water to like do it. So now I'm gonna fill this up with water again. So put the citric acid in. Then I'll get ready to launch it. Like this. Now the baking soda. And now the rocket. So stand back, everyone. Whoa. Did you guys see that? Let's do it one more time. I'm going to get ready. Make sure there's no water in the tube so that the eruption won't happen right away. By the way, the citric acid looks like salt. And now the baking soda. And now the rocket. Oh no, it's happening already. Okay, everyone move out of the way. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa! So cool.